Hey guys, Andy Spoons here uh, at TimberCon and I wanted to talk to you about axe technique uh, while spoon carving and some axe safety tips that will kind of just take uh, some of the some of the concern, I think some people find that swinging an axe or working with an axe can be quite a dangerous thing. And there are a couple of things to keep in mind that will kind of, you know, make you feel a little bit more at ease. Um, the first thing to keep in mind is when you're swinging your axe, when you're splitting a piece of wood, when you're swinging your axe, you always wanna make sure that your follow through, your follow through swing moves past your body. You don't really wanna be standing straight over the center of your axe because there is always a chance that it could glance. Another thing that's really important is when you are swinging towards your axe, it's always nice to kind of focus down into the block so that worst case, instead of swinging past, but even though that is gonna swing by you, you still wanna be pushing yourself down into the block. Hands behind your work, so not having your thumb over the top of your work is really important. And it's really nice to position your body To position your body so that you're, you're standing with a good posture, your knees are bent, everything's feeling nice and controlled. Um, I've already put a stop cut in here, but I'll show you some tips when you're taking out the bowl section of a piece of wood. It's really nice to start with some relief cuts. So to loosen up the fibers of the wood, just doing a couple of small cuts it just frees all of that tension up. And you can do it a few more times if it makes you comfortable. And then you move your way back down and it will slowly peel out all of that wood. Um, something that can be really helpful, and I have mentioned this before, but that's working in thirds on the wood. So instead of trying to take that full piece out, you can start by taking the relief cuts out Axing down, taking the relief cuts out this side, axing down. And then you've got a lot more freedom to work all the way down the center. Something that I noticed then that's worth mentioning, um, because I work with an ax every day, I am comfortable axing up this high towards my hand. I would not recommend if you're not comfortable working with an ax to, to ax that high. Once you get past the kind of three quarter mark, it's a great idea to just spin the piece around and then do the same thing, just kind of loosen up those fibers. And then that way you're nowhere near your hands. You can work the thirds down again. And here's another one. Don't use the edge of your ax to clean your ax block because all that's going to do is ruin all of that effort that you've put into sharpening your axe. Use the piece of wood, or if you don't mind roughing your hands up, use your hand, because there's a lot of grit that can catch in your axe block. You can also get a lot of fibers in there that can cause the piece of wood to slip around, so it's really important to keep your axe block nice and clean as you work. Um, another really tip, uh, helpful tip is called a bump cut. And if you wanna get some accuracy on your cut, uh, right now, obviously, I've got a lot of room to play with, but if I wanted to get some more accuracy, I'd keep the blade on the piece of wood and then bump the entire piece down. And then that way, instead of trying to swing and use that full swing, I'm actually keeping the blade out of my, out of my hands way and I'm giving myself a lot more precision to work with. Yeah, the, uh, the big thing about axe safety is just making sure you know the follow through of where that blade is going to be. Um, it's not as scary as you think, as long as you remind yourself that it is, it is quite a sharp tool um, and it can do a lot of damage if you're not focusing. And so I really urge you when you do pick up your axe, to be mindful of what you're doing, be mindful of how you're standing, um, and you know, above all, have fun, have fun with it.